Hi, good morning, welcome back. Okay, motorcycle fork corrosion fix. Now, if you've got a motorcycle with forks, it could be a Dyna Lowrider, it could be a Honda CBR125 or a Honda Goldwing, it doesn't matter. Whatever motorcycle you've got, if it's got fork legs, they can end up like this. Right, okay, now obviously there are people who just say, just strip them out and take them off and get them powder coated. Well, that's gonna add up financially because you're gonna have to get the fork stripped apart if you can't do it yourself and pay for the powder coating and it's not cheap. So the easiest way to do this, in fact, you don't even need to strip the forks or even take them out of the bike, is to take the wheel and the mud guard and the brakes out of the way and while they're hanging there in the air, you can strip all that off and repaint them. It's that easy. So let's do that. Right, now that's as much of the bike as you need to strip. Wheel out, mud guard out, brakes out of the way, and it's ready, that's all. Now the only last thing to do is take these dust caps and lift them up out the way. It's not obvious how they come off, but there's a little notch at the back. You need a little brass drift. You just tap in that notch upwards, that lifts them up, and then you work your way around and it will pop them off nicely without damaging them. Right, in your manual, it explains how to get these covers up, these little dress covers. If you've got them that are chrome or whatever it might be, you don't want to damage them. And it says quite clearly, use a brass drift in the little notch cutout, tap upwards and then work your way around and they'll pop off. That's how it's prescribed, use a brass drift. And a few people I've seen said, I haven't got one. So don't please reach for a steel punch or a screwdriver and start levering it because you'll damage things. There's no need for that. Just get a piece of brass. You can get that from the local DIY store. That's eight mil brass rod, cost a couple of pounds. Buy a piece, chuck it in your toolbox. You will use it and it will save your expensive parts from getting damaged.
Right, there we are. That's everything prepped. I've masked everything up in here. The project bike, the project bench, all those components, my machines, bits and pieces, and the lift here as well. And that's not just to protect it from overspray from the paint, but also from the dust I'm about to make. I'm not gonna use chemical paint stripper on this. It's not that effective unless you get the real industrial stuff. And if you leave any of it on there, it will strip your new paint off as well and trash the paint job. I'm just gonna rip it off manually with one of these. It's a paint removal fleece little plastic fleece there get these on the internet for your grinder it is ever so safe it will take the paint off but it won't damage the metal underneath it's a great way to do it i've stripped the paint off fuel tanks with these and they're thin so no problems at all it's a great way to do it and it won't leave any chemicals on the surface so once they're all bare metal it's just a case of wipe them all down three wet coats of stone chip paint black gloss just like they are and then put everything back together in the next video put the front back in and then we're done so let's do it